So today we're going to play yeah. Chef Wright. Um, okay. And it's a... Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, uh, it's okay. one of the most important times for our restaurant, Chef Wright. Mm -hmm. uh, the NBA yeah. Finals. It's time to set the menu for our five-course meal. Uh, so we yeah. got some hors d'oeuvres here to kick off our, to yeah. kick off our menu. We want to get the attention of our patrons, so why not spice things up immediately and predict the exact series length? Uh, we know you're picking Dallas, but how will they win? So I've said Dallas in five. So Dallas in five at twelve to one is I, I like the value of it now. Would I be better off just betting Dallas in each individual game? I don't know. But if I am if I'm doing the if I'm doing a a specific series bet, I would go Dallas in 5. Dallas in 6 is going to be a very popular pick, but that's why it's only plus 550. Dallas in five at 12 to one i like go ahead next that is insane all right so for our appetizer let's see what Kyrie can cook up from deep mm -hmm. all right so here are the options over under two and a half three pointers made per game at minus 115 five plus threes in any game at minus 120 two plus threes in all games at plus 350 I so two and a half threes per game. Is he going to average three made threes a game? I don't know. I I think under two and a half three pointers made on average for the series is actually the smart bet. I don't think this is going to be a huge Kyrie series. So I know that those seemed kind of in conflict with Dallas and five. Uh, but then if he has one huge, yeah, I, I think this, if I'm being honest, I think the smart bet is under two and a half, three pointers made per game for Kyrie. So that's the one I would bet there next. Yes, chef. Uh, salads are green. Celtics are green. Yeah. Checks out. Yeah. Let's look at what Tatum and Brown can bring to the table. All right. So over under 2.6, three pointers per game for Tatum. Over under 27.2 points per game for Tatum. Over under 23.2 points per game for Jalen Brown. or And those are all minus 115 on both sides. And then 20 plus points in all games for Jalen Brown at plus 350. Uh, I do not. So I really like under 27.2 points per game for Jason Tatum. I, the, I just don't think he's going to average... 27 and a half points per game in these finals. I think Jeff. that, yeah, what's up? But for Brown to score 20, 20 plus each game? Doesn't the, sound appetizing? Every game? Well, yeah. it, it, not to, hey, 20? no. Tw no, because, so there's a first, and let me finish the Tatum point real quick. Tatum, his last finals, averaged um 21 points per game. But here's the problem for the Jalen Brown thing. If there's a blowout, he might not get the minutes. You know what I mean? Uh, in order to get to 20, especially if they're getting blown out. Also, here is Jalen Brown this postseason points. 17, 33, 22, 17, 25. That's round one. Round two, 32, 19, 28, 27, 11. Round three, 26, 40, 24, 29. That makes me like the bet even less because he hasn't had a down game in a while. So, no, I the, the, the plus 350 is not good enough odds for me to like him to be able to hit 20 plus in every game. Next. Yes, Chef. We know this is what you, uh, we know this is what you and everybody came here for. So, let's give everybody what they want. The main course mm -hmm. can be served with a pack of cigs and beer. What will Luca do? All right, so lead this uh, series in threes at even money. Be the finals MVP at plus 205. Average a triple-double at plus 1,200. And then there's a secret menu item of him to record a triple-double in every game at plus 20,000. 
There is only one of these bets being offered to me uh, that I like, and that's Finals MVP at plus two hundred five. I am, you know, I would hand. I think his projected points are like thirty one and a half. I actually like the over there. I think this is going to be a huge Luca scoring series. I don't think he's going to average a triple double. I think he'll come just short of it. Um, but I like him to have Finals MVP at plus two hundred five a lot. All right, next. Okay. Uh, so for dessert, why don't we jump into some NFL bets, some sweet NFL okay. bets at like that? Uh, sweet. Yeah. I actually mean revolting. Which one of these okay. backups has a chance to start? So it's Zach Wilson to take the Broncos' first snap at plus 450. Justin Fields to take the Steelers' first snap at plus 450. And Drew Locke to take the Giants' first snap at plus 275. I the Drew Lock thing's interesting because Daniel Jeremiah seemed to let the cat out of the bag a few weeks ago about the Giants really leaning towards Drew Lock, but I think Justin Fields is going to win that job, and so I think Justin Fields. Be, if they were the same odds, I'd go Lock, but Lock is only plus two seventy five, and Fields is plus four fifty. So I will go with Fields at plus four fifty uh, as a little early season. I, Zach Wilson's not. I mean, it's going to be Bo Nix. It has to be Bo Nix for the Broncos. I I, I don't love Bo yeah. Nix, but it's got to be Bo Nix. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show, and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever. You get your podcasts or just click the link in the description below.